pork is relatively bland and some cuts can be pretty tough. So when you braise pork, not only do you tenderize it, but you also set yourself up for a world of flavor options. Mediterranean and Southwestern are just two of them. So here's what I'm thinking. What if you harness the power of braising to duplicate the flavors of the barbecue? What if you skip all that grilling and smoking and go straight to pulling and sandwiching? And what if you really slow things down? These are the flavors of the barbecue, and this is the meat that normally carries them there. But what if you don't have a barbecue? What if you need a backup plan? A slow cooker may seem like a bit of a cheat to all the barbecue purists out there, but I gotta say, you can do everything here that you can do on your barbecue, with the exception of the smoking part. But with all these flavors, you won't even know the smoke is missing. You will know, however, that the best way to a pulled pork sandwich is slow cooking. These are the flavors that tend to anchor most barbecue sauces. Sweet and sour, red wine vinegar, one cup, and brown sugar, another cup, and mustard, and not the fancy stuff either, just plain old yellow mustard, another cup. Some kind of tomato, often ketchup, but in this case, tomato paste, half a cup or so. And spices, usually beginning with a lot of chili powder. In this case, a half cup. That's a lot of flavor, but that's what barbecue's all about. And nothing complements the flavor of cumin and chili powder more than more cumin. I really like cumin. Two tablespoons or so. Oregano is very traditional here as well, and lots of it. And last but not least, any good barbecue sauce needs a little heat, and that's what this is for. A smoked jalapeno pepper, otherwise known as a chipotle. My favorite source of heat because there's lots of spicy, but lots of flavor too. And that's it, a tasty barbecue sauce. Whether you claim it's authentic or not is up to you. This meat will undergo quite a transformation as it slowly cooks, and the sauce will too, mainly because the meat itself will release a lot of moisture into the slow cooker. You'll have to be patient, but it's worth waiting six or eight hours for this kind of flavor. And besides, you can always pass the time by making an old-fashioned coleslaw. I think the main reason coleslaw is traditionally served with a pulled pork sandwich is mainly because of texture. The pork is going to be nice and soft, but the cabbage and the carrot will stay crispy. Just like pork, cabbage on its own is pretty bland, but it does come alive when you add a bright dressing, and traditionally coleslaw dressings are based on mayonnaise. Half a cup. And they always include some kind of vinegar, often plain white vinegar. It's all about the sour here, half a cup or so. My version goes so far as to include horseradish, lots of tangy personality here, half a cup. And I like sweet and sour, so I like to add a splash of honey as well, quarter cup. And fennel seeds, this is my secret ingredient. You can always tell my coleslaw at the barbecue party. It's the one with the fennel seeds. You can change any one of these. You can use any herb or spice. You can change the honey to any type of sugar. As long as you're starting with mayonnaise and you're adding something sour and something sweet, your coleslaw will taste great. A lot of coleslaws use another secret ingredient, quite simply thyme, clock thyme, because this tastes good now, but it'll taste even better tomorrow after these flavors have a chance to get to know each other. And there's a good reason why this is called pulled pork. 
toughest part about cooking pork this way is resisting the urge to get in there and taste it. Let's just say the kitchen smells pretty tempting with all these flavors. Mmm, this is delicious. All those barbecue sauce flavors are coming through loud and clear, especially the cumin. I would even go so far as to say this tastes almost authentic, but it's not about that. It's about watching the contents of this slow cooker disappear in a hurry. Hey, you could even freeze some of this and enjoy sandwiches for weeks to come. <laughs>